So if you want to do scanning for the cervical nerve root, you have to put your uh, probe uh, just over the clavicle at the lateral aspect of the neck and starts to move the probe uh, up towards the uh, mastoid process. The first level is seventh uh, cervical uh, level. First cervical. Here we can see the uh, seventh posterior tubercle and there is no anterior tubercle at this level. Uh, this is the seventh uh, nerve root and this is the vertebral artery, vertebral vein. And also we can see four muscles, uh, long supply muscle, uh, scalenous anterior muscle, stern uh, scalenous medius muscle, and lastly sternocleidomastoid muscle. And then starts to move the probe or sliding the probe up to reach the sixth cervical level. Here we can see the this is the posterior tubercle and this is the prominent anterior tubercle and this is the sixth nerve root here. Okay. Again, sliding the probe up. This is the fifth nerve root and this is the anterior tubercle here and this is the posterior tubercle. Okay, go up more. Again, this is the hips. This is the fourth nerve root for cervical nerve root and this is the posterior tubercle and this is the anterior tubercle and now we can go down more again to see the fifth nerve root here go down more this is the sixth one sixth cervical nerve root this is a posterior tubercle, the anterior tubercle, and this is the longus pole muscle. And lastly, this is the seventh, seventh cervical nerve root, and this is the posterior tubercle. Okay. okay. This is the posterior tubercle and this is the slow part of the uh, transverse process. There is no anterior tubercle and also we can see the vertebral fissions, uh, vertebral artery and the vertebral vein. And this is the internal jugular, internal jugular vein. This is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. This is the scalenous anterior and this is the scalenous medius muscle. In between them there is uh, cervical nerve root 5 and cervical nerve, nerve root number 6 okay and this is the seventh nerve root again thank you very much